hi guys welcome to our channel if you're new welcome and if you're old welcome back so today i decided to create this look and everything was inspired by this hair tie that i have on here and um i really love how it came out this special occasion especially african events like you're ready to go Anyways, if you want to know how I created this look, then stay tuned. If you're not yet subscribed, I ask you to please do that. And when you subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified when next I upload. Till next time, stay blessed, be safe, and fabulous. Okay, so first thing first, I'm going to start by concealing my eyelid to correct all that discoloration. Now I'm going to be going to the Juvia's Place Afrique palette and the first color I'm going to be using is this yellow one. It's kind of a yellow um, greenish, that's the vibe it gave me. And I will just go ahead and put it up in my crease there. Okay, so now I'm going to be using this burgundy magenta kind of pink right here. Now I'm going to use that fluffy brush that I use for, uh, with the yellow and just go ahead and blend everything out together. Just making sure that the edges are smooth. I'm gonna use the black from the Anastasia Prison palette because there's no cut crease for me without a black. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a Q-tip to and makeup remover just to clean up some of these things off my lid. And the Una concealer I use to cut my crease is the Ella Verpo concealer. So just in case you're wondering. If you're new and don't know. For my lid, I'm going to be using this color right here. This is a glitter I'm going to be tapping it up with and it's called Pinktastic. It's very beautiful, oh my gosh. And I'll be using the NYX Glitter Primer.
using the lily lashes and these are in the style Miami. So for my foundation, I'll be using the CoverGirl 368. So this time around, I kind of did a little bit more of customizing and I mixed the 358 and the, a little bit of the 365 because I'm trying to get somewhere near my shade, even if not close to my skin, but at least somewhere near that. Okay, so hopefully this one works. by itself I'm glad I actually mixed it this is not bad and the coverage is just so beautiful okay so this wrap was the inspiration behind my look so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, tie it nothing fancy I don't even know how to wrap that good anyways but yes And I'm just gonna tie a knot in the back. Tuck it in. Tuck the other side in. Make sure and find a place for this one. And just play with it till it's to my liking. Magenta color, just a tight line. I'll be using this smash wrap liquid lipstick. Okay, family, this is the finishing look. I hope you liked it and you were able to learn something from this tutorial. And I am really, I love this. Like, 